Hello everybody, happy new year. I hope you all are having a really relaxing start to your year. Uh, this is the first video I'm making in 2024, so I just want it to be a little catch up video and uh, to check in with you all and talk about what I've been up to because the last video I made was in November. And since then, a lot has happened that I want to share with you all. Um, I started a Substack in December, kind of recapping last year. It's like more of a, a deep dive into things that I like or things that I'm processing. And um, yes, yeah, so there's a, a lot of stuff about everything I went through last year. Last year was definitely the year that I went inwards and worked on myself and um, I feel like I was in my little cocoon last year just sort of figuring a bunch of life stuff out and this year I'm excited to see what unfolds because I feel like I planted a lot of seeds last year and so I'm excited to see what unfolds this year and I hope you all are too. I have a really good feeling about this year. Pluto's gonna be in Aquarius, which is a new thing. It was in Capricorn since 2008. It's moving into Aquarius. If I have any um, astrology folks in my comments, please uh, elaborate if you can. I'm really excited to put into practice everything I've learned and now know and understand. I feel like I know myself better and I'm like, I think this year I want it to, it to be about receiving and, um, and just letting go, letting go and receiving because I think for many years of me being in, in fight or flight, I was trying to fix everything. I was trying to make sense of everything and, um, that obviously wasn't working, that led to burnout and uh, a bunch of other things, but um, yeah, I, I'm putting full trust and faith in the universe and in myself, and I am just ready to go with the flow. I'm like not gonna be struggling upstream anymore. I'm ready to move downstream and you know, anything that arises, I'm like ready to take on. and. That's the energy I feel for this year. So I hope you all are, are feeling that too. And um, I'm really, really excited. As we slowly start finding our footing into the new year, I really want to make writing a consistent practice of mine. So I've been taking a journaling class that includes all of my favorite things, gratitude, meditation, and empowerment through writing. This class is called Journaling for Grounding and Positivity, a seven day practice with cello meditation music and can be found on Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online platform for creative learning, offering classes led by experts in film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. Skillshare offers a number of learning paths, which are curated sequential class collections to master any skill. So for example, you could do learning paths for creative pros, for freelancers looking to build and maintain their clients, solo entrepreneurs, creative professionals who are looking for a mix of skills and tools. I've really enjoyed having a grounded daily practice that has allowed me to find my writing voice because I had avoided it for so long and I'm really eager to keep the ball rolling and uncover more pieces of myself in the process. If this sounds like something that will get you off on the right foot, the first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I will also include a link to this class in the description box and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring my first video of the year. So, so I was in Cincinnati for Christmas and I'd never been before, but it was really charming and I'm really glad I got a chance to go. And I did some thrifting that I wanna share with you. It's just a few things. So these first couple of pieces are gonna be from this vintage shop in Northside. And this was uh, $14. This says it's a 1980s pleated skirt, and I just loved the color. It's kind of long. It hits um, 
above my ankles and I, I guess if I want to get it hemmed I can if I want to make it a little bit shorter but yeah I just uh, I thought this was really cute and I feel like you could wear a graphic tee over it or like a chunky sweater or something or and docks um, so yeah I'm gonna play around with this but yeah this was $14 and I love the color this is from 1960s it's this plaid dress and I think it's handmade because there's no tag and you know there are just like little things like snags and stuff on it I mean it's in really good condition um, but this is what this one looks like. It's so cute. Um, I might get this one a little bit shorter to hit above my knee because right now I think it's hitting just below my knee and I feel like the length could be better. Um, but yeah, it's just this, this wool plaid dress and I thought it was really cute. There aren't any pockets, but um, this was, how much was this one? This one was 40, so not bad. I think it's adorable. I have been looking for a pair of boots like these for the longest time. I find a lot of my vintage stuff on Etsy and I've bought boots off of there before, but I like, I don't know. And I also have like narrow feet and like narrow calves, I guess. And so anytime I tried a pair of boots like this on, they were just too wide around the leg and it just didn't look right, but I found these at St. Vincent de Paul in Cincinnati and these were $12 and they're so cute and they actually fit me like around the leg. So I'm really happy I found these because these are so cute. These I didn't thrift, but I got off of a friend's vintage shop called Magnetism. Um, her name is Michelle. She has really good finds. She's in Canada. And um, yeah, she just finds like really great pieces. And I found these ruffle like knit pants. I don't know if you can see the detail, but there are just these ruffles on the side and they're knitted. They're super form fitting. They make my butt look really cute. They're just like so comfortable. And um, yeah, I can't believe she sold these. I'm like, oh my God, these are like my favorite things ever. So I wore these um, uh, to a game night a few, a couple weeks ago before New Year's Eve and everyone loved them. I wore them with a, a really sparkly cardigan and people thought that it was like a set and I was like, no, they're both vintage. But anyway, these are like my favorite pants now. They're so comfortable and they're so freaking cute. I don't, I don't have anything else like this, so I'm really excited about these. And in other exciting news, I am going to be part of another group show at Hashimoto Contemporary beginning of next month. So I'm super grateful and excited. I have just a few weeks to finish these pieces and I went to the studio yesterday and one of my things broke, so I have to redo it. So you guys pray for me that I can get this done in time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hustle because the pieces are due soon, but I'm really, really excited to have my work shown at another gallery. This will be my third one. So I just feel really grateful. And I also did a podcast with my friend Katie. Her podcast is Let It Out with Katie Dalebout. And we recorded the podcast before Christmas and it should be out soon. It's also like a recap of my year and kind of building up to that and we talk about shadow work, ego death stuff, meditation, um, golly, there's, yeah, a lot of stuff. And there's gonna be a part two, so I wanna leave that um, in the description box for you all if you wanna listen to it, but yeah, that's kind of, oh, also I wanna share a movie with you that might give you a lot of inspiration. It's called Tales of Hoffman. It's a, ballet and opera and it's so beautiful. The set design, costumes, everything is insanely gorgeous. And I'm sure you all have seen probably stills on like Pinterest or maybe Instagram, but um, if you can find out how to watch it, I think I found it on Prime, um, but 
it's just one of those films that is like, whoa, like, so please watch that if you, if you want some inspiration. My camera's dying, so I feel like I'm rushing, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm really excited to start making more things for you all, and playing and getting out of the box, because last year was a year for all that stuff, and this year I just want to, like, blossom into whatever is meant to happen, so thank you so much for watching, I'll leave all that stuff below, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.